Decades after the hub was first announced, Toll Holdings has moved into the $70 million taxpayer-built road and rail complex. Open at last. Toll's new freight base also marks the official opening of a logistics hub at Brighton. It was first proposed by the last Liberal Premier, Tony Rundle, 17 years ago. And this facility's taken many years to come to reality, or in fact the transport hub itself, I should say. Uh, it took many years to get the transport hub up and running. Toll's managing director opened a facility in Western Sydney last week, four times the size and built in two years. He's confident the Tasmanian facility was worth the wait. This is a much better location for us uh, to handle the freight, so we'll be able to get it to our customers in a more timely fashion, less truck movements. Toll's now vacated a prime parcel of Hobart waterfront land. It's certainly our hope within our first term of government uh, to see significant progress in areas such as Macquarie Point. But Will Hodgman can't promise work on new buildings will start within his first term. TasRail's last train pulled out of Macquarie Point recently. It's in talks with Taz Ports and Toll about a Brighton-style hub for Burnie. We've got a great uh, interface down in the south of the state. The trick now is to replicate that the, the efficiencies that we're going to start getting here with Toll and other customers up in the north of the state. Toll says it will continue to invest in Tasmania. It's planning to replace both its Burnie-based ships in 2018. The company has rejected exporters' claims that there's not enough freight capacity on Bass Strait for fresh produce. There is sufficient capacity uh, on that trade at the moment um, and therefore there's no additional capacity required at this point. And clearly when we make an investment to increase our capacity, we think that should be sufficient. It's not clear how a transport hub in Burnie would affect the other northern ports. Stephen Smiley, ABC News, Brighton.